they have a cave troll. Welcome back to the second devlog of the Untitled Red Panda game. My name's Louie and I'll be your guide along this journey. I've made some significant changes to the game like a complete character redesign, story creation, and creating the first enemy. Okay, it's not a cave troll, it's more like a golem. Before I get started, I'd like to thank everyone that subscribed to my channel and watched the first devlog and left comments, good or bad. I couldn't ask for a better response, I really appreciate it. I didn't get as much done the last two months as I'd liked because I started a new job, I focused a big part of the development on the story, and I also had to recreate the Red Panda. So to get things started, I wanted to really focus on the story. I was struggling with where to go with everything mechanics-wise, so I figured if I developed a more detailed storyline, I would have a better sense of direction. Right now I'm playing with two intro ideas. Leave a comment on which one you like better. The first idea is you are a human and there's some great battle that breaks out between the light guide and the dark guide. Your people are attacked and you are mortally wounded. The light guide is also mortally wounded. The guide sees something in you and chooses you to help defeat the evil, but needs to save you first. The good guide transfers or transforms or something you to a red panda along with itself. Kind of like the duo in the Mordor games. Why a red panda? That I'm not sure yet. The second idea is you are a red panda and the same battle happens, same backstory as before. The good guide is mortally injured, but this time the guide transfers itself to a red panda making itself aware. Through the journey, the red panda can be learning about the world from a new point of view. This can make an interesting dynamic. So those are the two story intros I'm working on. Just leave a comment about those, uh, which one you like better. Okay, so going from there, the main concept of the game is there is some main portal or rift that is releasing an evil into the land. Your goal is to find four elemental stones and destroy them. Each elemental stone will be located in a separate area according to the element. The elements are fire, water, earth, and air. And no, I'm not taking this from Avatar, these are just pretty basic elements. Each stone will have an elemental boss to defeat which will grant you a new power. Each elemental area will also have obstacles and puzzles along the way according to that specific element. So that's as much new details as I'd like to go for the story for now. I just don't want to spoil too much. Now to the biggest change, recreating the red panda. So I took into consideration all the comments on how the red panda looked too much like a raccoon and also moved too much like a raccoon. So I wanted a new character model, but I have zero blender skills. And learning how to model and animate a new red panda would take far too long and also probably be poorly executed. So I checked the asset store and found a more accurate looking red panda. I got it and now I have a new model. But I ran into a new problem where I needed some of the old animations from the old red panda. Specifically climbing. I quickly found out that Unity does not have a good way to retarget animations for non-humanoid characters. This was a major issue. I tried multiple different configurations in Unity and the model had no articulation. Its transform just moved around the screen. I looked and looked through forums and videos with no solution. At this point, I was thinking I would just have to go back to the old Red Panda and just deal with it. So one day I remembered that Unreal has a really good retargeter. Was this the solution? Now I had to think through this process. After about 20 attempts, I figured out I need to use the new model and edit its skeleton in Blender because it had three root bones and Unreal gets mad if there is more than one. So this was fun, trying to figure that out. So to keep this part short and simple and not go into too much detail, I edited the new model skeleton in Blender, exported it as an FBX, imported it into Unreal, created an IK rig, and then repeated this process again for the old Red Panda and the new Red Panda with the unedited skeleton. I had to do this process because I needed animations from the old Red Panda and new Red Panda for the new new Red Panda, the new Red Panda with the edited skeleton. I know this is getting confusing. I can go into more detail in another video if you want. Um, this process took weeks to figure out for me. Now that I have three IK rigs, the process was pretty simple with the retargeter and Unreal. Just drag in the animation and retarget and export. The retargeter worked pretty well. A few animations required some tweaking. It took another week or so to retarget all the necessary animations. I don't know if this was the best way to go about it, but this was the solution I found and it worked for me. So the new red panda can do everything the old one could do and more. Now it has a new attack, a projectile attack. 
This will end up being the fire ability in the future. The red panda also has health, can be damaged, reacts to the damage, and has a death animation. So that's it for now for the red panda. After that, I focused on enemies. Again, I searched the asset store to get ideas for each element. I ended up picking a rock golem for earth, a fire ant for fire, a three-headed hydra for water, and air is to be determined. It will probably be some sort of bird. So I wanted to start with the golem. So I brought it into the test level, added all the necessary components for states and health and AI and more, and increased its size. Initially, the AI was a little broken. It was just moving at the wrong speeds, kind of spinning around. After testing its attacks and seeing that it can attack and be attacked, I added some effects. I added a dust effect to its feet when it steps. Then I added a camera shake for each step. I thought this gave it a little sense of size and mass. All the other effects for the attacks, damage, and projectiles are just default and will be updated later. So the golem have, will also have two more attacks created later. Besides the main attack, it will have a heavy attack, which is like a smash attack and a projectile attack. Also, getting onto the other bosses, each elemental boss will have some sort of weakness that can be exploited. So that's all for now. If you haven't, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.